we are on day 28 of our 30 day idiom challenge. If you are new here, my name is Charlotte and I am an English teacher from the UK, helping you to learn 30 idioms in 30 days. If you have missed any of the videos so far and you would like to watch them, head down to my description box where you will find all of the videos that we have already done. However, let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into our idiom. Today's idiom is to be a far cry from something. Any idea what it could mean? And no, luckily there is no crying involved. We do not have to cry and go very far away. No, don't worry. Instead, let's take a look at an example sentence and see if you can understand what it could mean. This holiday villa is a far cry from the pictures on their website. What do you think it could mean? To be a far cry from something means for it to be very different from something. So, in this example sentence, it is meaning that this holiday villa is nothing like it looked like on the website. Maybe on the website the photos looked amazing, but in reality the holiday villa is not very nice at all. Quick note, in this idiom there are two things which you can change. One, the verb conjugation of the verb to be. So for example, it is a far cry, it was a far cry, blah, blah, blah. The second thing we can change is the something at the end. And here you're going to put the thing that you are comparing it to. Let's look at some other examples. The millionaire's life had not always been like this. His lifestyle now is a far cry from his poor childhood. Meaning, his lifestyle now is very different to his lifestyle when he was a child and his family had no money. Let's look at another sentence. The business we see today is a far cry from the business I started many years ago. Meaning, the business we see now is very different to how I started my business many years ago. The business has changed. Okay, it's your turn. In the comments below, see if you can write a sentence using to be a far cry from something. I look forward to reading them. As always, if you found this video useful, please click the thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for day 29 of our 30 day challenge. Have a fantastic day and bye for now.